So a landscape approach to me means that we think about the landscapes that we live in from the multiple services and benefits that they provide for us. It could be food, it could be protecting a watershed, it could be protecting habitat from a species that we value, it could be car uh, storing carbon. Uh, we, we use these multiple services from landscapes and we often don't recognize that we're doing so. So a landscape approach is an intentional consideration of what we are benefiting from landscapes and managing them accordingly. From a remote sensing perspective, we can see landscapes in their entirety as a whole. We can see the connections, uh, how water flows, how uh, forests change over time. So the remote sensing perspective provides a very valuable look at landscapes but it's not enough. We have to think about landscapes on the ground, people, communities, how they are using their landscapes, how human well-being is changing as a result of changes in landscapes. Well, we've always, humanity has always used landscapes to obtain all of these important benefits. Now, as resources become more in demand, we're seeing more and more competing uses of landscapes, whether it's biofuels, food, carbon storage, conservation. And as, as these landscapes have more and more competing uses, it becomes more and more for us to think intentionally how we need to manage landscapes. Well, it is quite obvious, but often, most often, landscapes are managed to obtain maximum economic returns or from some politically important use. And from a, uh, from a management point of view and political point of view, we really haven't considered the trade-offs in managing landscapes in different ways. In terms of the meeting here in Warsaw at the COP, uh, a landscape approach is, is so important because the way we manage landscapes affects both climate mitigation and climate adaptation. Climate mitigation through the carbon storage service that landscapes provide, climate adaptation through the response of landscapes to climate, such as change in water flows or change in soil moisture. We can think of landscapes in terms of both the climate mitigation and adaptation services that they provide. Adaptation, for instance, uh, protecting uh, shorelines against uh, uh, storm surges would be an important climate adaptation service of landscapes. So a landscape approach allows us to think about what services we really need to obtain from any particular landscape. Some landscapes are extremely important for climate mitigation, such as peatlands, which store large amounts of carbon. Some landscapes might be more important for climate adaptation. For example, the, uh, the vegetation along coastal areas that could protect against storms. So different landscapes might have more or less value for different aspects of climate mitigation and climate adaptation.